Hello everyone, I'm going to be doing a quick navigation on the new uh, Enterprise Command Center that was recently um, uh, made generally available by the Ibiza Suite team. Um, as, and you can see uh, a detailed blog post at idconversions.com. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate through these two new responsibilities that are available here, the ECC Administrator. I'm going to click on ECC Administrator and you can see that there is a, a few uh, functions within that. Uh, and in it, within this function, what you can do is just launch the ECC around data load, which will allow you to run either um, with a, a full load or a, an increase uh, load um, and, and run from there uh, and schedule to run uh, periodically to refresh the information on ECC. I'm going to go back uh, to the responsibilities and I want to show you briefly the ECC developer. As you can see, there's a new look and feel on this uh, screen, uh, and this is me you on know, the look and feel of ECC in general. Uh, what we see uh, at the home are the different applications. So these are the existing applications at V1 of ECC. Uh, as you can see, I can click on the payables application and I want to see uh, the different um, tabs and pages that are going to be available for that um, command center. And this is the payables command center. Um, on this, what you do is you just click, you know, click on that and, and end the page. It's going to say which is the short name what is a page URL and if it's enabled or not. Um, on that, what is a, you know, a, 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 an application is a, you know, basically it's a, a combination of, of data sets, uh, okay? Um, now, let me tell you what a data set is so we can drill down. So data sets are um, uh, different sets. And I'm gonna click here to, to see all the data sets available. Um, um, so data sets are um, basically all the uh, information that you're going to have uh, as part of um, you know, your uh, command center. I'm going to click on, on edit for these APGRX, which are the installments for payables. Um, and you can see that we have which is the data set you know, the name, and then we're going to have load rules, um, which are the incremental load, and the package and the procedure that is going to be uh, using this data set to get the data, okay? And you can set different, you know, sequences for that. Um, then, and then, and I'm going to explain later on, because this is what you will use, and this procedure is what you will use to tailor and add different columns if there's a column that is not available there. And then there's a security rule. And this security rule is the handler. So these get filter attribute values uh, will be managing and, and getting all the information based out of the standard security at EVs and Suite. So you don't have to do any extra security and it will manage uh, just like you know the, the standard rules. Um, I'm gonna click on cancel. And then I'm going to go, and these are data sets. So let me go into metadata. So within metadata, what I will do is, well, I'm going to select which data set. And, you know, I'm going to talk about AP transaction. So I'm going to go on that. And you're going to see that I'm going to retrieve, I'm going to retrieving the list of attributes. And these are you know, the columns, right? So we see that we have 68 items. Uh, and we have the attribute key, okay? And, and one of the things here is that you need to copy and paste exact same as shown on the SQL. Um, and then you have a series of columns which are, you're going to be telling what is the display name, if it's searchable or not, we can see the power of the search. If you can refine, which is used as a parameter, what is the refinement behavior, if you want to do a multi-select or you know, multi-select and or single select. Um, what is the order? You know, if you want to show in the guided discovery, if you want to show a record count, uh, etc. Collapse. So these are how you define each of the columns. Okay. Now, 
go to record identifiers we got to you can also add for this data set calculated attributes like past due let me expand that and you say okay the due date is minus sys date and and the unit is day so this is the formula so you can add calculated add, um, attributes for that you can also add buckets like discount packet which is you know past due is starts and end on zero so whatever is minus uh, you gonna be showing as past due and then current is the start from zero uh, forward and then we have our associations and the associations how you basically associate your data set with um, uh, target data sets okay so we're saying that through the invoice we can you know get this data set with the holds so we the invoice will be you know the attribute that will be linking and associating these two different data sets okay now in terms of administration um, you know we have a, a series of information like the source system the database connections um, data load submission we can even submit you know uh, the application based on the application the data set here you know if you want to do some tests here in terms of that uh, you can also see details of what has been happening and this is you know I run uh, this run today um, um, at, at, you know we have a schedule to run about 5 a.m. in the morning um, and then you know we can also do an export and import right from from this screen this will allow you to change and move into different uh, area uh, different environments or even import if you want to import from another because this is going to be open so you can import the information here um, so again this is uh, enterprise command center and this is the administration side 